Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in a different filming location, which means that I have committed to a medical school and I have moved to the city where I'm going to be spending the next few years of my medical school education. I am also super excited to finally be able to share with you guys the specific schools that I apply to as well as where I will be going. If you have watched my medical school acceptance reaction video, which I'll link in the cards right here, you'll know that I got six interview invites, five of which I attended. I got three acceptances and two wait lists. One of those wait lists ended up in a rejection, but the other one, you'll have to stay tuned to find out what happened. In that video, I also shared my medical school journey and how that led me to medicine, the specific activities that I did. So go check it out if you haven't. But today is all going to be about the overview of my application, timeline and these specific schools all right so just to start i want to give you guys a breakdown of the total number of hours that went into the activities that ended up on my application and as for my stats my science gpa was a 342 my all other gpa was a 399 and that gave me a cumulative gpa of a 369 as for my mcat i took the mcat once and scored a 512 the breakdown of the mcat is as follows for my chem and physics section i got a 128 for my cars and i'm a little bit embarrassed about this because i i practiced really hard to try to get a good score but i ended up not doing as well as i'd hoped and i think this really brought down my overall score so i scored a 124 and not really proud about that but moving on to a better section i scored a 130 on the bio and biochem section which also was my major so going in i really hope i would do well or there is something seriously wrong. Yeah, so that landed me in the 96th percentile, so I was pretty happy. And then for the psych and social section, I got a 130. And I took the MCAT back in 2019. For a lot of the schools that I applied to, and I only found this out once I was applying, is that the schools that I applied to considers my MCAT score to be good for three years prior to matriculation and not application. And I think most of you guys know the application takes an entire year. So you do have to consider that and factor that in when you are taking your MCAT so that it doesn't expire. Check what the guidelines are at your top choice schools. All right, so with my primary application, I submitted that on May 25th in alphabetical order. Here are the 20 schools that I applied to. In compiling my medical school list, there was a lot of factors that I had considered and I will make a separate video coming in the near future as to how I made the school list that I ended up going with and there's a lot of statistics and calculations involved so I'm really going to try to make a good video for you. All right with those 20 schools my application was verified on June 25th which also happened to be the first date that MCAS could send the primary applications out to the schools that you have indicated on your primary and then just about an hour after that I received two secondaries but on the screen right now I will also put up when I received secondaries for the rest of my schools and what my turnaround time was. All right, now for the exciting part. Where did I get interview invites from from these 20 schools? Like I mentioned earlier, I got an interview invite at six schools in the order that I received them. The first one that I got was back on July 22nd, which I was very surprised because that's very, very early on in the cycle. And that came from the Washington State University. The second one came from Rosin Franklin University on August 24th. That was then followed by the Warren Alpert Medical School, which is associated with Brown University. And I got this on September 13th. I was very surprised to have even gotten this because this was my REACH school. It's also an Ivy League. So I was like, oh my gosh, super excited about it. And then a few days later on September 24th, I got another interview invite from the University of Washington. Okay, I had a huge brain fart, but I also got an interview invite from the Medical College of Wisconsin on October 28th. But then there was a long, long intermittent period where I didn't get any more interview invites, but then on January 26th, I got one from Albany Medical College. To summarize, I got one in July, one in August, two in September, 
one in October and one in January. As you guys know, I only ended up going to five interviews, which meant I did interviews for every single school that I was invited to except for Albany. The reason for that is I was already pretty happy with my results and my acceptances. Speaking of interview, I'm also really excited to share with you guys that I will be making an interview mini series just like I did with my secondaries mini series. When I was interviewing, I tried to search up for people's, I guess, reviews of what their experience was like interviewing at specific schools and I didn't come across very many. So I think it'll be super helpful for you guys to have a listen in on what my experience was like at these schools. And since I interviewed at five schools, I also encountered a variety of different interview formats. So I think it's going to be very informative to attach onto that. I will also be sharing my interview tips because I was really, really bad with interviewing coming into this. So I want to share with you guys what resources I used and what I did to help me become better at interviewing. I also made a lot of mistakes. So I just really want to share all of this with you guys. Before we get to the results and my decision, I just wanted to share how I felt after each interview. For the Washington State University, I felt pretty good. As for Rosen Franklin University, I felt pretty meh. They threw at me some questions that I felt like I didn't answer to the capacity that I wanted to, so I didn't feel very confident there. Then for Brown University, I felt pretty great. Um, walking out of it, that was one of my best interviewing experience. Following that, I had my interview at the University of Washington, which is a long story to tell and I will be sharing it in the mini series. There's just a lot to talk about, so I'm going to save that for another day, but I felt like it did not go well at all. And then following that one, I interviewed at the Medical College of Wisconsin, which I felt pretty confident walking out of. So now for the results of my application cycle. Let's start with where I got waitlisted at. I got waitlisted at the University of Washington. This one ended up in a rejection. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed, a little bit sad because it is my home school. That's where I went for undergrad. So, and I really wanted to stay in the area, but it wasn't unexpected given how I felt about the interview afterwards. The other school that I got waitlisted at was Brown University. So you might be wondering what happened to Brown. I ended up being on the waitlist all the way up until the start of their classes. And so at that point, there was really no reason to remain on the waitlist anymore. Um, and they said that they're not gonna take me off of the waitlist unless I formally turn in like a notice of withdrawal. So I did that and committed to the school that I selected plan to enroll at. But Brown will always have a special place in my heart and I genuinely really love their school and their program. Having said that, I am also very happy with where I have decided to go and I think it aligns with my career aspirations a lot better. So this means that the three that I got accepted at was the Washington State University, Rosen Franklin University, and the Medical College of Wisconsin. So I am excited to share that I will be going to Washington State University in Spokane, formerly known as the Ellison S. Floyd College of Medicine. There were many factors that went into my decision-making process, some of the major things being location, mission fit, class size, mentors. I'm also working on a project in the area that I really want to see to fruition. So I think it made perfect sense as to why I chose this school. But again, I will be talking more about this in my interview mini series. My moving vlog as well as a ton more content is going to be coming to this channel. So please do hit subscribe and it means a lot to me that you guys are supporting my channel. And as this channel is growing, I am genuinely interested in seeing where you guys are on the medical school journey, whether you are still in high school, if you are currently undergoing the medical school application this cycle or maybe thinking about applying next cycle, whatever stage you are in, leave it in the comment section below so that I can get an idea of what you guys need and what kind of content I should be aiming to make. All right, and that brings me to the end of this video. By the time you guys are watching, this orientation will be in just a little bit over a week and I'm super excited for what's to come. I will take you guys with me to orientation and um, just the rest of my medical school journey. Here's to a new start. All right, thank you so much for watching. And as always, best wishes, warmest regards. Until next time, bye.